Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my cycle. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here. Bring you guys a discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the anime. And if you've not seen the latest Boruto episode, I highly recommend watching the latest Boruto episode because there's some new information that was displayed in the anime episode that directly connects to the manga. So I'm assuming that you've already seen the episode if you're here at this point. So I want to go ahead and have this conversation with you guys about the importance of Jigen's mission that he gave to code at the end of the last episode so I've seen a lot of people saying like man you know what's going on with Jigen and code is code potentially somebody that has a karma seal is that what that actually is what's with the relationship what is code doing that only Jigen was able to give to him to do and I want to go ahead and say right now I think I have it figured out so I've seen people say maybe it has something to do with a big plot reveal that happens later on after Kawaki shows up in the Boruto anime it's going to be something you see after the fact and I don't think that's it. I, I I don't think that's it. So what exactly was the mission that Jigen gave to Code? Well, when you look at how the Boruto anime has been adding little small things and building on stuff that was just mentioned offhand in the Boruto manga or stuff that was implied in the Boruto manga when it came to the car organization, they've just been building on it. Like the fact that Delta has a bad relationship with Code and with Boro. That's something we saw fleshed out very well well in the anime just off of these interactions so what was the actual mission so I think the mission and this is a light spoiler so I think anime only fans are safe for this one but I think the mission that Jigen gave to Code was when Code or somebody from the car organization spied on Naruto Uzumaki the seventh Hokage and I think that a lot of people overlook that line right there but I feel like the Boruto anime has been slowly building towards that because if you go back to the episode where they talked about blocking the a and gates, which are basically the gates that are the entrances to Konoha. And you have that line where Shikamaru and Tsunade were telling Naruto, like, look, there's a possibility that Kar is already inside of the village or they might have already come into the village. These are people that we know absolutely nothing about. It's really in our best interest to lock down the gates. And people such as myself said when that episode came out, that's going to have huge manga ramifications going forward for it. And I think that this is the Boruto anime in a very subtle way actually paying that off right there because one thing that they've done with the car organization ever since it's shown up in the Boruto anime is They've been telling little small parallel stories that run alongside the actual manga adaptation because anybody that's read the manga can tell you that the car members, they have absolutely no depth to them. They're kind of just thrown in there and the only thing we know is that these are characters that are absurdly powerful. That's one of the knocks to having a mangaka who does things in a snapshot type manner there's no real depth to his artwork and don't get me started on the actual writing that Kodachi did when he was given the stuff for Ikimoto to draw Kodachi being the former writer and Ikimoto being the actual illustrator one of the depths was that the members of Kara there was no real depth to any of the characters it was all surface level stuff that we could kind of grasp at and yet when you look at the Boruto anime one thing that we've gotten is we've gotten more personalities to these characters we've gotten more backstory with some of the characters in the case of uh, Victor we've actually seen why it is that Delta is just annoyed with Boro and Code even though it's one of those things where you know Delta just seems like she's just an eternally raging bitch that's just going to be her character type but she's also shown elements of being a bit of a spoiled brat to an extent and so you see that little sibling rivalry that uh, Code and Delta appear to kind of have and so you start seeing little small things being set up to actually pay off this moment where Code reveals that like, hey, we did an entire investigation on the seventh Hokage after Momoshiki was defeated. We didn't actually see the karma seal on him. He didn't have the karma. And then he proposes, what if it's actually Sasuke that has the karma seal? At this point, Kara does not know who has Momoshiki's karma seal, but they know that there's a karma seal out there. And without giving away any type of spoilers, Jigen absolutely needs to know who has that karma seal because the karma 
Karma Seal is vital to the plans of the car organization. And so I like the fact that one thing that you're actually seeing here is that it feels like they're setting this up because if Code is making his way to Konoha and Code just ditches the car cloak and he just goes into Konoha dressed like a normal civilian, that opens up the door for him to actually interact with somebody like Naruto and be able to do so while slipping under the radar. Yes, it will be foreign chakra. They would not actually have it registered. And yet at the same time, this is a ninja series. All you have to do is deceive your enemy. We don't know Code's abilities. So we don't know if he has an extreme mastery of the chakra suppression jutsu, which allows you to, like the name implies, to completely suppress your chakra presence. We don't know if he has an extreme ability like that or the ability to mimic the chakra uh, signatures of other people people we don't know anything about his ability so it is very possible that at some point he got into Konoha and he was able to do so undetected I mean that would not be the craziest thing right there that really would not be the craziest thing for him to actually pull something like that off and it would make sense why Jigen tells Code in the last episode like this is a very important mission that is vital to our plans you want to complete our plans don't you and so manga readers know exactly what that's referring to so I really feel like that's the most likely scenario is that while we're getting everything that's going on with the members of the car organization uh, having their battles with boards on Team 7 in particular the outer members of the car organization so somebody like Al going up against Team 7 like how you're going to see in the current episodes I think that while that's going on they're going to continue these little small sub parallel arcs and I think that the anime director is making the best decision here because he said in the past like look Look, I know fans want to know more about the car organization. They want more of the manga content. I'm a fan of the manga myself, and so I can't wait to bring this to life. And when you look at what he's done from a character like Mujino, who was an absolute fodder, his death meant absolutely nothing in the manga. In the anime, people were putting Mujino in the same conversation with Sasha from Attack on Titan. So that shows you that they actually did a really good job, in my opinion. So I think that when you look at the parallels that they're doing, the parallel stories that they're doing with the car, organization i think that you know this is setting up for something better however i want to know from you guys do you think that jigen's mission for code was actually going to investigate naruto like we know that he's done in the manga or do you think that jigen's mission for code was that code was the car member who had to go to the grocery store and buy a bottle of wine for jigen or since jigen is the best wine connoisseur there is he probably had to go to a liquor store and along the way code probably got some of that yak too and probably got some of them black and miles and had a good time before he actually showed up and gave jigen the wine that he's got because manga readers know that jigen is an absolute wine connoisseur anime fans have absolutely no idea how much of a wine connoisseur he is so which one do you think is the most likely let me know down in the comment section below but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching to the end have an awesome day guys